this example number two and we will find an equivalent string constant. This is problem 1.7 from the textbook. Right. So first of all, we want to recall how do we calculate as a, the equivalent or constant of springs that are in parallel. We have two springs K1 and K2 in parallel. And as you see, they have the same displacement. So the equivalent um, constant for these two springs is adding the two springs, K1 plus K2. And when we have two springs in series, what is equal, they transfer the same force. So we have spring one and spring two. You saw in the theory that the inverse of the equivalent is the inverse of the first spring plus the inverse of the second spring. So we will use these two formulas to find an equivalent spring for the whole system. So the first thing we are going to do is add the springs that are in parallel, in this case K1, and K1, so there's two K1s and K3 and K3. So we can write, let me copy the system. So we have here two K1s, then we have K2, and then we have two K3, K4, and K5. The next step is to find the equivalent between the 2K1, K2, and 2K3s. So those are in series. So we will use the formula for spring in series to convert that to a equivalent single spring. I'm going to call that equivalent K1. So that will be the inverse of 2k1 plus the inverse of 2k2 and the inverse of k3. So those fractions give me, when I solve those fractions, give me 2k1, k2, and 2k3 divided by k2 times k3 plus 2 K1 K3 plus K1 K2. Now we would add the K1 equivalent plus the K4 because they are in parallel and that will be in series with K5. And finally the total K or the equivalent of the total system will be those that are in series. We find the uh, inverse of the total equivalent is 1 over k5 plus 1 over the other two together. And if we expand this expression, I will just copy the solution right here. Please do this example. And if we expand all the equivalent one within that expression, we get this equivalent constant of the spring for the original system.